I'm Dr. Griffin Cole of the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. Patients and dentists should make sure that each step of the safe mercury amalgam removal technique, or SMARC, will be applied during a dental appointment for filling removal. The first step is for patients to consult with their dentist before the mercury filling removal begins so that both the patient and dentist agree that all safety measures will be in place. This helps to ensure that the patient and dentist know exactly what to expect. It's also helpful to watch the following example of the safe mercury amalgam removal technique, or SMART, being applied. Each room where mercury fillings are removed should have adequate filtration in place, which requires a high volume air filtration system, such as IQ Air Dental Mercury FlexVac, or similar device, capable of removing mercury vapor and amalgam particles generated during the removal of one or more mercury fillings. If possible, windows should be open to reduce the mercury concentration in the air. The patient should be given a slurry of charcoal, chlorella, or similar absorbent to rinse and swallow before the procedure unless the patient declines or there are other contraindications making this clinically inappropriate. Protective gowns and covers for the dentist, dental personnel, and the patient should be in place. All present in the room should be protected because substantial quantities of particles generated during the procedure will elude collection by suction devices. It has been demonstrated that these particles can be spread from the patient's mouth to the patient's knee and to the chest, shoulder, and neck of the dentist and dental assistant. Either a properly sealed respiratory grade mask rated to capture mercury or a positive pressure properly sealed mask providing air or oxygen should be worn by the dentist and all dental personnel in the room. Non-latex nitrile gloves should be utilized by the dentist and all dental personnel in the room. Face shields and hair head coverings are to be utilized by the dentist and all dental personnel in the room. In order to protect the patient's skin and clothing, a full body impermeable barrier should be utilized. External air or oxygen delivered via a nasal mask for the patient also should be utilized to assure the patient does not inhale any mercury vapor or amalgam particulate during the procedure. A nasal cannula is an acceptable alternative for this purpose as long as the patient's nose is completely covered with an impermeable barrier. A saliva ejector should be placed under the dental dam to reduce mercury exposure to the patient. A dental dam that is made with non-latex nitrile material should be placed and properly sealed in the patient's mouth, as well as a full head, face, and neck barrier that is under and around the dam. During amalgam filling removal, the dentist should utilize an IQ Air Dental Mercury FlexVac or similar device in close proximity to the operating field, that is two to four inches from the patient's mouth, to mitigate mercury exposure. High-speed evacuation produces better capture when fitted with a cleanup device, which is preferred. Copious amounts of water to reduce heat and a conventional high-speed evacuation device to capture mercury discharges should be used to reduce ambient mercury levels. The amalgam should be sectioned into chunks and removed in as large of pieces as possible using a small diameter carbide drill. Once the removal process is complete, the patient's mouth should be thoroughly flushed with water and then rinsed out with a slurry of charcoal, chlorella, or similar absorbent during the opening and maintenance of suction traps in operatories or on the main suction unit, dental staff should utilize the appropriate personal protection equipment described earlier. An amalgam separator should be properly installed, utilized, and maintained to collect mercury amalgam waste so that it is not released into the effluent from the dental office. Dentists must comply with federal, state, and local regulations addressing the proper handling, cleaning, and or disposal of mercury contaminated components, clothing, equipment, surfaces of the room, and flooring in the dental office. I hope that you'll make the smart choice about your dental care by asking for safety measures during your mercury filling removal. For more information about the Safe Mercury Amalgam Removal Technique, or SMART, including scientific research about why these safety measures are important, visit thesmartchoice.com from the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology.